Happy Chanukah. My name is Daniel Ibsen. I'm a reference librarian here at the National Library of Israel. Today I want to show you two Hanukkah-related items from the library's collections. In the 18th century, Jews from Baghdad settled in Calcutta, India. They were very successful merchants, and the Jewish community grew and grew. In the 1840s, they established a Hebrew printing press. Among the items published in Calcutta were these two Hanukkah festival blessing sheets, which were given to school children by their teachers. The children would take them home, show them to their families, just like today when children come home from school and kindergarten with printed Hanukkah blessings, quite often decorated by the children themselves. They come in different colors, blue, green, red, and brown, some of them only in Hebrew, but these two have English translations as well. On the sheet we can see the three blessings for the lighting of the Hanukkah candles, the famous Hanukkah hymn, Hanerot Halalu, and at the end, Psalm number 30, which is recited daily throughout the festival in many communities. Right at the bottom of the page, there is an area where the teacher can dedicate and personalize this gift for his student. In this area, there is a prayer for a child's well-being and successful upbringing, and the teacher can fill in his name in the blank gap. These two specific ones were given to two brothers, the red one to Shalom and the green one to Yosef Chaim, both the sons of Yitzchak Faraj. At the top of the page, we can see the royal coat of arms of the United Kingdom, reminding us that India was under British rule at the time. The sheets also include other decorations such as flowers, and birds, and even a train running across the bottom of the page. These gifts were commonly known as menorot, a fitting name for a Hanukkah gift. Happy Hanukkah. <laughs> Was the man who's